Sairam students, today we are going to continue with tenses. Yes, we have already done present tense in our earlier session. And today we will continue with past tense. So, all of you be ready with a pen, notebook and also with your new voices textbook. So, students, before we start with past tense, let us quickly revise whatever we have done in our earlier session. Earlier we understood about tenses that tenses indicates the time when an action or event occurs or when a state or process holds. We also understood that tenses are of three categories that is present tense, past tense and future tense. Then we learned about present tense as again it is divided into four subcategories, right? That is present simple, present continuous, present perfect and present perfect continuous. So now let's quickly in short we will revise these four subcategories and then we will start with past tense. When a verb ordinarily shows an action or event in the present time, it is called present simple tense. It is always used to state facts, your habits, general truths or routine work. We also learn the formula for present simple tense is first form of verb plus s or es. Like for example, he does his homework. Here the verb is does. They live in Delhi. Here the verb is live. We also understood that in case of singular subject, we will use S or ES. And in case of plural subject like they, we, etc., we do not use S or ES. Now, let's quickly revise present continuous tense. A verb showing an action or event which is going on or continuing at the present time is called present continuous tense. Here the formula for present continuous tense is is or am or are plus ing form of verb. Now is is always used with singular subject like he, she or any other singular subject. Am, as I said in earlier session, am is very evident. We are always going to use am with I. And are, we are going to use with plural subject. Now, let's see the example. They are waiting for us at the restaurant. Now here, the subject is they, that is plural. So, we write are plus ing form of verb that is waiting. Then in the next sentence the night angle is singing in the woods. Now here subject is the night angle that is singular subject right. So we write is plus ing form of verb that is singing. Then in the next sentence I am coming to your place. Now in this case subject is I. So we write am plus ing form of verb that is coming. Now let's quickly revise present perfect tense. A verb shows an action that has been completed at the present moment is called present perfect tense. Now here the formula for present perfect tense is has or have plus third form of verb. So here has we use with singular subject and have we use with plural subject. Now let's see the example. I have not met my friend for many years. Now in this sentence it means that in the past also I have not met my friend and at present also I have not met my friend. So it is a continued action. Now since I is first person singular number so we write have. Then let's see the next one. Ram has finished his homework. It means that the action he has completed just now. 
Now here, since Ram is singular, we write has and the third form of verb that is finished. Now let's see the next one. We have known this family for many years. Now in this sentence, if you see the time factor of action is not clear. And here we is plural subject. So we use have and third form of verb that is known. Now let's quickly revise present perfect continuous tense. A verb that shows an action or event which has been started long before and that very action or event is going on for the present time is called the present perfect continuous tense. Now here the formula is has or have plus been plus ing form of verb. We use has with singulars in subject and have with plural in subject right now let's see this with example they have been reading this book for a week now mm -hmm. now since the subject they is plural we have used have here plus been plus ing form of verb that is reading now in the next sentence sam has been living in new york since 2002 here in this sentence Sam is singular in subject so we ha write has plus been plus ing form of verb that is living. Now let's start with past tense. We all know that past tense are the action that has already happened. We have already understood in the chart about past tense that past tense is again divided into four subcategories that is past simple, past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous. Let us first understand simple past tense. Now when a verb shows an action or event in the past time it is called simple past tense. In simple way we can say any action that has taken place in the past time is called simple past tense. Alright, now here the formula that we are going to use is second form of verb which is also called as V2. Like the first form uh, is play that is V1. Then the second form will be uh, for the play second form will be played. Then sleep. So the second form for sleep will be slept. Alright, now uh, let us understand this uh, simple past tense with the help of example. It rained yesterday. So you can see here I have just used the second form of verb that is rained. Alright, now let's see the second example. We stayed in England for 5 years. Now here the uh, second form of verb is stayed. That is stay, stayed. Right, then the let's see the next example as a young man i tracked a lot now here for track it is tracked so the second form of verb is tracked so let's talk about negative form of simple past tense now here you are just going to use did not and uh, along with did not we are going to use v1 that is the verb uh, first form of verb. Now you will be thinking why are we not using verb second form whereas the formula says we are supposed to use verb second form in simple past tense. Now students understand this. Here we are already using V2 in the form of did. Right? So, did is already from the verb do. So did is already second form of verb. So, we are never going to use second form of verb twice in a sentence. Alright. Now, let's look at the example. It did not rain yesterday. Okay. So, we are already using did as a second form. So, we are not going to use rained. We are going to use rain as a first form of verb. Understood? Then, let's look at the second example. We did not stay in England for 
five years. Okay. Then the next example is, as a young man, I did not track a lot. Now we are already using did over here, right? So we are not you going to use tracked. We are going to use track. Okay. I hope students this is clear. Now let's move ahead towards the next type of tense. Next type of tense is past continuous tense. Now a word showing an action or event which was going on at the past time is called past continuous tense. In simple way it means it is used to describe an action going on for a particular period of time in the past. Now, the formula here is again very simple. The formula is was or were plus ing form of verb. Now, uh, whenever you have to con continue, uh, that is the continuous form, you will always use ing form of verb. Now, here was will always be used with the subject that is singular in nature and were will always be used for plural subject. Now let's understand this with the help of example. We were strolling all evening. Now here we is plural right. So we are using were right plus ing form of verb that is strolling. So we were strolling all evening. Now the next sentence is the teacher was teaching when I came in. Now here in this sentence the subject the teacher is singular by nature right. So uh, and so with singular we are going to use was, was sorry was. So the sentence is the teacher was teaching when I came in. Alright now let us uh, form the negative form of past continuous tense. Now, it is again very simple. You need to just add not with the helping verb. So, here the sentence will be, we were not strolling all evening. The teacher was not teaching when I came in. Now, our next form of tense is past perfect tense. A verb that shows an action that had been finished before another action is called the past perfect tense. In simple way, it is used when two action is completed in the past. Past perfect tense shows which action is completed before the other one. Now here the formula is had plus third form of verb that is v3. Now here there is only one option that is had. Apart of had there is no other option used. Whether the subject is singular or plural we will be using had plus third form of verb. Alright. Now let us understand this with the help of an example. The train had left before we reached the station. Now here two actions are being performed. In the past the train had also left and we have also reached the station. Right? So this tells us what happened first and what happened next. Now let's see the second sentence. I had finished my work by 4 p.m. Now it's very simple. Irrespective of its subject, whether it is singular or plural, you need to add had plus third form of verb. Okay, for here, in this case, the third form of verb is finished. Alright, now let's move ahead and form the negative form of past perfect tense. Now, again, this is very simple. You just need to add not with the helping Work. They had not played with the ball. Now here in this sentence, uh, the subject they is plural, right? Then in the next sentence, he had not finished his work. Now in this sentence, the subject he is singular, 
right so now here with the help of these sentence we understand whether the subject is singular or plural for the negative form of past perfect tense we will use had plus not plus third form of verb all right i hope this is clear now let's move ahead towards the next form of past tense that is past perfect continuous tense a verb that shows an action or event which had been started in the past and was going on for a long time is said to be past perfect continuous tense that means an action which started in the past is continue till now it is not yet over now students whenever ing is there it means it is continuing now here the formula is had plus been plus ing form of verb now students no matter whether it is singular or plural in subject the formula remains same that is had plus been plus ing form of verb okay now let us understand this with the help of an example sam had been trying to qualify his exam since march 2019 that means sam had been appearing for exam from march 2019 but has still not cleared the exam and you can also see here the formula used is had plus been plus ing form of verb that is trying now let's look at the next example they had been running this business since 1987 that means still they are doing the same business right now students remember here in the first sentence sam is singular in subject and in the second sentence they is plural in subject so no matter whether it is singular or plural in subject the formula remains same that is had plus been plus ing form of verb okay now let us see the negative form of past perfect continuous tense now this is again very simple you just need to add not with the helping verb no matter whether it is singular sentence that is singular in subject or whether it is plural in subject all right they had been doing their work since 2003 then the next example is the boys had not been watching television for 3 weeks i hope students the concept of past tense is clear students for past tense you can refer new voices textbook page number 106 to 109 and also the tenses chart is on page number 180 so students i will stop this session here and will continue with future tense in a next online session yes you all need to complete your homework there is a link provided you need to click on that link complete your work and then click on submit button all right sign up